Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to discuss more about the LGBTQ plus community in honor of Pride Month. So happy Pride Month. Please remember that Black Lives Matter. Thank you. Uh, there is more information on my Facebook. I do share a lot about um, the Black Lives Matter movement, petitions you can sign, but I will add some in the description if you are looking for petitions. Um, another YouTuber that I'd suggest if you're looking to support people is Chris Clemens. He um, devotes each video to a different organization and recently it's been very situated around um, Black Lives Matter. So if you'd like to support someone that I have not mentioned, please go and check out his videos. In the beginning of the video he mentions one. Every single video he does he mentions one. So. If you are looking for people to support and you're looking for more information, please watch him. I'd also suggest the documentary 13th. It is on Netflix. I think it's a great way to learn about what we're fighting for because we can't just fight for something we don't know about. Today I wanted to talk about some important issues within the LGBT community that I think we need to discuss more in depth. And the first of that is gatekeeping. So the definition of gatekeeping is the activity of controlling and usually limiting general access to something. So this is what we're dealing with. Um, it is kind of the umbrella term for um, things like bi-erasure, ace-erasure, pan-erasure, and those kinds of things, non-binary erasure as well. And I just wanted to discuss it because as an asexual I think it really does affect me and it affects the people that I care about. And it's, it's really disappointing. The LGBT community is supposed to be a community um, that loves and accepts the people who don't feel loved and accepted in society. And to say that an asexual or a bisexual is not inherently LGBT because they still may like men or, you know, they still may like the opposite sex, it erases them from the community and that's not what we preach as a loving community. So, I've been seeing a lot of posts on Instagram, on TikTok recently, about the fact that asexuals aren't inherently LGBT. And my argument to that is, uh, yes they are. <laughs> the full acronym for LGBT is LGBTTQQIAAP. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, transsexual, queer, questioning, intersex, asexual, ally, and pansexual. So. Asexual is part of the LGBT community because it's in the acronym. So we can't say that asexuals are not part of it even if they do like the opposite sex. Because they still aren't straight. They still experience ace phobia. I can tell you a few occasions that I've had ace phobia happen and it sucks. I cannot say that it's equal to the amount of homophobia um, that my friends have experienced or transphobia that my friends have experienced but there is still ace phobia and it's so not spoken about in the community that no one even knows and by saying that asexuals aren't part of the LGBT community you are being ace phobic um, another thing I want to talk about is the difference between bisexual and pansexual they do kind of overlap each other um, bisexual is um, the attraction to two or more genders. So you could be attracted to men and non-binary people, or uh, women and non-binary people, or women and men, or um, that kind of thing. Pansexual is the attraction to people not even regarding gender. You don't take gender into account. Where bisexual, you are still considering gender. Please comment if I am getting this wrong. I'm, <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm not an expert on any of this. I am just trying to spread my knowledge with people who are learning like me. So if any of this is wrong, please comment below nicely. We like nice comments. <laughs> um, and yeah, bi does not equal pan. Sorry. <laughs> it's another thing that's very biphobic in the community. There's a lot of bi erasure. Um, when a woman a bisexual woman is dating a man, it does not make them straight. They're still bisexual. When an asexual person is dating someone, it does not change their sexuality. It doesn't mean that they are no longer asexual or that the person is no longer bisexual. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that there are not only two genders. I've been seeing this all over the place. It's getting to me. <laughs> I questioned my gender for a long time. I'm still questioning my gender. 
that's why I like to put myself under the queer umbrella and um, that is okay with me you can call me queer I do not know where I stand in my gender identity and my gender expression um, I express more of a masculine way um, of gender but I still enjoy dressing up feminine and that's that's okay and I'm still not sure that I'm cis uh, I did identify as non-binary for a short amount of time but um, I don't know if this is the way that I feel and I feel that it's okay to voice your journey it's okay to narrate how you feel so I am <laughs> so basically gender is not you know two set things and that's it gender is a spectrum it is goes from non-binary to gender fluid there's not just two genders it's very difficult to explain <laughs> um, but we can't keep erasing non-binary people from the community because non-binary people are so valid and they do not need to express androgyny to be non-binary this is something I've also been struggling with is as someone who previously identified as non-binary I felt that I had to cut my hair short and I had to wear androgynous clothing and that I could not express myself in a feminine way um, because that would make me not non-binary and we are seeing the most amazing human being Jonathan Van Ness who I love and adore I'm gonna use they pronouns for Jonathan just because I feel that that would be the most respectful uh, but I am not sure which pronouns they use. Jonathan has been making amazing strides in the non-binary community in the way that they express their outward appearance. Um, Jonathan wears skirts and heels and has long hair and it's just so amazing to see someone in the public eye doing this and I think they're breaking down walls for non-binary people. So when you see a non-binary person who is expressing in a feminine way, they are still non-binary. Okay? And if they're expressing in a masculine way, they are still non-binary. Cool? <laughs> there are other um, identities underneath non-binary or with non-binary. Um, gender fluid, if the person is dressing masculine that day, it does not mean that the person is deciding to be a cis male or a trans male or anything they are gender fluid and I think everyone needs to just understand that gender is fluid and that our expression of our gender can be whatever we want there's no rules you just you can do whatever you want men can wear makeup and I think um, we need to start talking more about gender and how we feel regarding gender uh, I think it's a really important thing to talk about and you like to see more of that there is a lot of informative TikTok videos and there's a lot of information on it that people are just not watching and listening to and reading I think that is all that I wanted to talk about if there's more I'll post another video <laughs> lucky you <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you to my loyal subscribers who have been subscribed to me and who are so patient with me thank you so much uh, you make my heart smile and I am so excited to be putting out more content I might do a room tour if I ever clean my room I might do a room tour since I'm moving out of this room anyway I can show you how it changes I think that would be really cool and I'll do a moving vlog just so you can see like the process and um, how I set up my animal cages maybe I'll make that separate videos and I'm thinking about doing a plant tour as well I have a lot of plants some of them don't look very good though, so we'll see. <laughs> and we can do some animal educational videos since I love doing those so much. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you like this video and please subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Um, I am putting out more videos and I would be so excited if you would join me on this journey. If you would like to check out our Zoom meetings, please check out my TikToks. We'll be putting more information up there. I will probably put an announcement on YouTube as well. So if you are interested in that, please just keep your eyes peeled for any information that I may be putting out. I'm so excited to go on this journey with everybody 
and um, show you my journey. I feel like it's really important to be a role model to kids younger than us. Because when I was younger, I was looking for someone like me. And there was no asexual representation anywhere in the world until I was like 18. And I finally found the word on Tumblr or something. I'm going to be documenting my journey just so that younger people who are like me, who are questioning, who are struggling, know that it's okay to question and it's okay to struggle sometimes. You just come out of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.